Hi, welcome to How To Repair. Today we're looking at the Candy and Hoover made Smart Touch vented tumble dryers. Now these tumble dryers first originated in Wales in the United Kingdom. They were manufactured in Merthyr Tydfil. Then Candy bought the company out and these machines were then manufactured in Italy. Now a company called Hire own the Candy and Hoover group and they are actually manufactured in Turkey, although Hire is a Chinese company. These dryers are quite well constructed and the programming is quite good. The problem with the machine is the accessibility to access components is very poor. This is one of the most complicated machines to take apart. Now I will be doing three videos after this review on the machine. Uh, first we'll do a video on how to check all the thermostats, NTC sensors and the heating element with the cutout stats as well. We'll also do a video on how to replace the belt or capacitor if the drum is not turning. And I will be doing a general video on teardown of the machine to show you how to access all components and actually understand things that need cleaning and maintenance in the future. The machine is quite well built, but the accessibility is very poor. The positive side with this machine is I do like the programming capability on this machine. Not only are you able to use the uh, Candy Hoover Smart App uh, to control the machine, to see error codes, other bits and pieces, it has got a delay start timer which operates up to 24 hours. This will allow you to utilize lower tariff rates in electricity. It has 14 programs, I believe, for drying a multitude of different combinations of clothing. Uh, it's also NFC controlled, so you can use this on your smartphone to find out error codes, uh, different programs that you can actually import to go onto the machine. Uh, I'll also be doing an additional video on error codes with this as well. The difference between this new type uh, Hoover Candy tumble dryer and the previous version is they have made the cabinet more accessible by the side panel is now able to be removed as you will see in the other videos. They have put uh, quite a bit of thought into the programming. The build quality is quite good, but as I said, the accessibility is very poor. The machine is capable of eight, nine, or 10 kilo, depending on the type you buy. On a full load, the machine would use somewhere in the region of four and a half to five and a half kilowatts of energy. Now, the important things to remember with all vented tumble dryers, uh, and this will prolong the life of the machine no end. If you set the machine for a two hour cycle or a one and a half hour cycle, make sure you do not interrupt the cycle by opening the door and checking to see if the clothing is dry. The reason I say this is when you open the door, you cut off the air supply going over the heater and the heater can gain heat. Although the electricity has been disconnected from the heater, the airflow has been shut off immediately. And this can cause things like safety cutout snaps to blow, especially when you're opening and shutting the door all the time to check if the clothes are dry. The last 10 minutes of any cycle on any tumble dryer is designed for a cool down period. This means that the heater is disconnected, but the airflow continues to cool the machine down. It's there to protect the consumer and also protect the machine from overheating. Other things that you want to be aware of, the filter system on this is very good, very nicely made, fits nicely into the housing, just opens up to clean. Once a month make sure you get down in this hole with a vacuum cleaner and clear out all the fluff. The vent tube that fits on the rear of the machine it only comes with a 1.5 meter vent hose, but it is the flexi type where you're able to put it out of the window. Uh, it may not be long enough for out of the window, but it is adequate for going out of the door. But we do sell these in up to five meter lengths, I believe. Uh, and you can replace these straightforward and easy. Um, and also when you're doing maintenance on the machine, if you have got it fitted into a 
kitchen on a permanent basis where you have a vent hole at the back it is worth taking this pipe off every three to six months and making sure that it's completely clear because fluff does build up in all these locations that I said and if fluff is building up you are restricting the airflow to the machine so it's very important that you do a little bit of maintenance every three to six months it's only a 20 minute job to pull all these things apart and just vacuum them out the machine's well constructed. As I said, I'm not happy with the accessibility of the machine. Uh, the programming I really do like. On the early programs, they did have a problem with relays on the circuit board that were underrated. I can't tell you if this still exists to this day because they're so new on the market. I haven't seen any of the more modern ones with relay faults, but I have got a previous video showing you how to test relays on tumble dryers. The relay is what controls the heater coming on and off. Uh, it's also there will be two or three relays on the circuit board controlling the motor action from left to right and so on. But as I said, the machine is quite well built and in general I'm going to give this machine a 6 out of 10. The reason I'm giving it a 6 out of 10, I do like the programming, I do like the build construction, but the accessibility, the engineers at Hoover and Candy really need to put some thought into making this machine accessible. Compared to the hot point uh, and intercept machine, this machine is really difficult to get into. And as you will see in the other videos that I show you uh, in the next couple of days, uh, you'll understand why. Um, price on the components are reasonably priced. They're not the cheapest on the market, but they're not the most expensive either. So as I said, I'm giving this Hoover six out or sorry hoover candy machine a six out of ten in my opinion for repairability as the right to repair act is now coming all over europe and machines are being accessed on the affordability to maintain them and also the ease of being able to maintain them i hope you enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching and over the next few days you'll have all the other videos to accompany this video with regards any repairs that you need to do in the future Thanks very much indeed for watching.